All right, we're back at it, and we are doing, for those who have the, the third edition of the Introduction to Hydraulics and Hydrology book, we are doing um, problem uh, kind of 12 and 13 more or less, which is, and here, those of you who don't have the book, write the description or think about it. There is a reservoir with a surface elevation of water, a free water surface at an elevation of 268 feet above some datum. Probably, again, you know, HGVD 88 or 27. So the elevation is 268.0. The pipe leaves the bottom of the reservoir at 242.5, which is immaterial. It runs and its exit is, has an invert elevation of 221.12, and the length of the pipe is 1425. It is a 60 inch diameter pipe and it is rough surface concrete. So that gets you the information you need to know to do a Bernoulli's equation if you're assuming that the pipe runs free at the other end. It also gets you the information you need to know about the pressure at any one point in the system. Because the way Bernoulli's equations, especially when they are free flowing, actually work is you need to first determine the velocity based on two points that you know something about. One would be typically the reservoir, and the other one would be the discharge, because when something discharges free to the atmosphere, it has no pressure head. It has a lot of velocity energy, but it has no pressure head. And so, as usual, you end up with this equation, which is velocity equals the square root of 2GH, and H is essentially very close to the difference in elevation between the entrance and the exit points, which are both subject to zero pressure. So if I have a chance, I'll put a sketch out there, but I'm just showing you how to run the calculator now. You, of course, turn it on. And usually what you would do, I'm going to hit a clear button here. If you're smart, you might have some information, and you would want to put it in into list one and list two, right? So I'm going to show you there's no data. There's some data in there. So I can go to stat here. I can edit that. And in list one and list two, I've actually got some old data floating around. So because um, I don't erase this calculator out. But you would put your data into there to graph it so you had the ground. We're not going to do the data end of this. But as you get into uh, a lot of these programs will tell you perhaps to set up right your graph here in this case this program will eventually tell you to put in and this is what I did wrong in class the other day alpha s sorry alpha s times x dif distance down the plate pipe plus alpha e in other words mx plus b where e is the elevation to start s is the slope of the uh, energy gray line and X is how far down the pipe you are looking at. So you can put that in, hit second quit, and now you have to go to your problem. You said, okay, this is a rough pipe. And so that rough pipe has a more or less a roughness of, if it's rough concrete, 0 0.01. And the pipe diameter is 60 inches, but that is five feet. So you have the, the roughness divided by the diameter is 0 0.01 divided by 5 gets you a relative roughness of 0 0.002. You then have to make the assumption that this is going to be flowing pretty fast if you want to get your best first guess. You go to 0 0.002 on the relative roughness. You read across and you get about 0.02, I don't know, 0.02. 4.025, somewhere in that range. We'll just use 0.025 in this case. You then go to Bernoulli's equation. And you actually should write it out and go through the process. When you end up with the process, you end up with this program. Bernoulli. You look for the inputs. It's a rev date. You see that there. The length of the pipe was 1425. Remember the plan length is pretty much the same as the uh, the true length unless you've got a lot of elevation up and down. The diameter was five feet, remember? Double accounting for feet and inches sometimes. The friction factor was what, 0 0.025?
got to make sure you punch it correct. I keep on messing up here. Point zero two five. The head is the distance between the beginning and the bottom, the elevation of the surface and the center line of the pipe, and that is 44.38 because you have to account for the radius of the pipe, and that gives you the invert, and then it calculates out a velocity, and you write these things down. Remember, double accounting. If you know the velocity, you know the velocity head. If you know the velocity head, you know the velocity. But you can double account just like diameter, radius, area, and circumference. And so the, the feet of head is 5.46, and the velocity is 18.75. At this point, you can even check the Reynolds number here, which is given here, and making sure that you're in that kind of flat area of the turbulent flow on that graph. And it, you know, it's pretty turbulent at this number. Remember, 2,000 and less is laminar. So um, you're kind of okay with the numbers you've written down. And you see that you burned of the head that you were going to use, you will have burned actually about 39 feet of it. The rest of it will it remains in the, in, the, in, the, in the flowing water. So you're about done there. Second, enter. Second, clear. Seems to work. Clear. Delete. Enter, clear, okay. Now you have that information. You can now go to the flow graph program. You're essentially just graphing the data. You should be able to do this, remembering that the slope of the energy grade line, it has a slope of minus F over D times V squared over 2G, and slope times distance equals fall. That's what this program is doing. You enter it here. It's got a rev date of 1102. It tells you what to do. You F from the Moody diagram is what we use as 0 0.025. Velocity, which was 5.46. Diameter, which we said was 5 feet. Starting elevation, which was 268. And distance down the pipe, you'd like to check it at the exit first, and then you can recalc other things. This is kind of one of these programs that's set up to just do one calculation, but the graph gives you everything. And you see it ends up at 264.70, which is not correct. So we're going to go back and look at what these numbers are. Oh. 264.70. Because velocity is supposed to be 1875. Ah, thank you, my most able assistant. And we're going to recalc because the velocity here, if you saw it and think about it, it was not 5.46. It was 18.75. Uh, so you just go back and recalculate the program. Flow graph. and this is, Or you learn to string one program into the other. Do this quick so we don't run out of time. The friction factor was 0.025. The velocity of the pipe was 18.76. And remember, normal range of design velocities is 10 to 3 to 10. You get a lot faster velocities than that. Diameter is 5 feet. The elevation at the start was 268. And the distance down the pipes is we're just going to always look and check what we know it's supposed to be 1425. And you get an elevation of 229, which in fact is does make sense when we think about a 5.46. And that 229 is comprised of 221 at the invert, plus 2.5 feet, which is 223, plus 5.46. You get exactly to what you wanted. Now, this question in, an ex in the uh, discussion is what is the piezometric level or what is the essentially the hydraulic grade line at 550 or at 821. You just go through here and you learn to recalculate or just go to your graph. And since I didn't have the graph set up or ah because my window isn't set up correctly, right? 
I won't be able to see it. But I'll see if we're going to run out of time here. But if my window is set correctly, everything will work. And that's how you go about doing a Bernoulli's equation of a free-flowing pipe. We'll do another one where, in fact, you know the velocity because you've fettered down the pipe. And what happens is the kind of the graph comes up. So I'm just going to print and go with that.